Hey guys, let's check out Ample Sound Bass Upright. This is of course an acoustic bass and I'm going to show you a few other instruments by Ample Sound. Let's just dive into it. Right, and you can already hear the other instruments in the background. So I, I was playing the Dongxiu. This is the China flute here that we have. And we have also the guitar SJ, the Super Jumbo, which are already covered in my channel. And we also have the guitar L Luthier, which also is in my channel. And in this video, we're going to concentrate on the bass upright. So we have a few views, different things that we can do with this instrument. I'm going to try and cover them as quickly as I can for you. So this is the main view. This is where you can see the beautiful instrument. This is where we have a lot of control over the sound. So we have the different mics here and you can see the neck, ambience, we have body. We also have DI and we have the uh, selector here. So here, so we have all mid side mono DI. So you can tweak this and get different sounds from the recording. Of course, we have the master panning phase. We have a capo and you can tweak this as well. We also have an auto mode or logic mode for the capo. I'm not going to dive into that, but let me know in the comments if this is interesting for you. I can show you something with this, but uh, that's all also covered in the user manual. So if you really want to learn, just check it out. Then we also have the auto buzz, which will give us uh, that buzzing sound. So also, if you hover on top of any of the controls, you will get tooltips. You'll get some help to understand what they do. Then we have the different sounds that the instrument makes. I mean, the real instrument makes when you play it, like uh, the release uh, sound. We also have the effects here. We have the fretting uh, uh, sounds, the attack and the release. And there's a switch here for the uh, fret sounds. So then we have three different modes of playing or different things that we can set for our uh, playability. So we have, first of all, we have the instrument playing mode. This is the default. So it sounds like this. Right, and when you are in, a, in the instrument mode, it means that uh, everything is going to be played as if that was the instrument, meaning you can't really play two notes at the same time on the same uh, string, right? But then you can switch this to the uh, other playing mode that we have. That's the uh, sort of keyboard mode. And then we, we can play this like, I don't know, maybe like a piano, everything goes. Right? Even playing two notes, two different notes on the same string will work. And so that's the other playing uh, option. And then we have solo, which means that a single note can be played at a time. Right, let's go back to the default here. Then we have also the legato. So we have the auto legato mode with uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs, which will be triggered and this can also be triggered with MIDI programming. So as you go deeper using virtual instruments, you'll see that we have key switches that you can use to trigger different modes. And uh, this is one of them. And the, the last one here, we have open strings. So sort of forcing the open strings to be used. So now let's go and see something really cool about this instrument. I really love that feature. So this is the reefer. And so now I know that programming MIDI for, especially for such instruments, it can be quite complex, but sometimes you want, well, you want the computer, you want the instrument to be more helpful for you. So this is why we have this reefer. So what we have here is the different strings and then you can just program notes on these strings and as you can see i already programmed something here so let's play that mm -hmm. 
Right, and what we can do is we can clear everything and just start over. I'm going to do that in a moment. But as you put notes here, I'm just going to click and you can draw this, you can stretch, you can move it around and you can use shift and, and move things even between the, the strings. And then you can also set a lot of things for that note. So as I select those notes, you'll see up here in this bar, you'll see all the settings for that particular note. So now we're on that C3 and this is how it sounds. And you can see the note here. I can change that to something else as long as it's on the same, uh, on the, on the same string, right? So I'm going to change it back to C3. And then we have the velocity, the uh, note velocity, the note off velocity, and we have the note duration. And then we have some articulation. So right now it's on sustain. That's the default. That's the, that's how it sounds. But I can change that to natural harmonics, palm mute and slide in. So let's try the slide in. So let's go with the slide in. And this is a complete editor. You can edit things here and there are some other uh, well, very cool stuff that you can do. So let's select another note and we'll see that we have also other articulations like, like legato slide. We have hammer-ons and pull-off slides out. We have quarter slide out and eight. Let's try that one. Right, and we can also add some other articulations like bands. Bend and release. So let's try that. Very cool. And so that's the reefer, but you can do something even more interesting here with this dice. So I'm going to click this and here we'll let the reefer generate the notes for us. So I'm going to select C uh, minor. Let's uh, get C minor, even harmonic minor. And then I'm going to select the number of uh, notes. Well, we, we're not going to have a lot of notes. This is bass. But anyway, then we have the different uh, settings for the well, type of riff that we are looking for. Pop, metal, funk, blues. Let's go for blues. And we'll click this dice and we get a generated riff. Right, and what we can do now is we can drag and drop this riff into our session. So let me show you how this is done. I'm just going to click this button here and there you go. We have our riff. So I can play that. Right, and I'm going to remove it. And that's the reefer. That, that is it. Very, very cool. Another feature that I really like about this plugin, about this library, is the tab. So if you have Guitar Pro tabs, and I have a lot of them, you can load them into this player. And let's just listen to what we've got built in here. We also can load. So there's a, a whole list of uh, tabs that we can use. Let's try something else. Let's go for uh, something jazzy.
very nice next let's try something else let's go for well let's go for a country and you get the idea pretty cool right so if you have guitar pro tabs you can play them here and you can then use them and again i can drag this into my session so i'm going to just do that now and just drag and drop it here of course it's uh, very long but you uh you understand the idea and that's uh that's what we have here let me just clean things up very cool so this is the this is the guitar pro and then we have some other things that you can do there are uh, four different effects so we have eq we have also a compressor so the first one is a compressor and with the usual attack and release controls and then this uh, eq which you can just tweak to whatever sound you like let's try it Yes, if you want to remove that nasal tones and so on so that's the EQ then we have a multi-tap delay and double clicking will add more dots and let's put them here and we have the timing here And last we have a, a reverb, so it's already on, but we can set the size, we can set the bass and treble here, pre-delay. Cool, next we have some other settings that I'm not going to cover in this video, but uh, a lot of things to manage the library, manage the MIDI, and manage uh, other things like the global envelope and settings like the uh, pitch and the metronome and things like that so i'm going to skip that one for now and then uh, last we have the midi mapping here so you can uh, you can use that also to map different notes and a few things that i uh, didn't show you so far let's go back to the main view so we have different articulations here on the left which are assigned to key switches so the first one here this is the sustain but we also have natural harmonics right and we have palm mute And then we have uh, slides in and out. And we also have legato slide. And notice how when the slides finish, you go back to the sustain. And last we have hammer on and pull offs. Right, and you can program that in the MIDI with these key switches. All that information is in the user manual, of course. And maybe something, uh, you know, the last something that I wanted to show you is some other noises, some other sounds that you can get from this instrument, like, uh, you know, tapping on the body of the bass. So let me show you that. So you can see the these uh, coloring here, All right? So the, these are the maps, and let's just go back to our effects. Remove the multi tap here. We don't need that one, and we can use a different reverb, just a smaller size. Going back to the main view.
So this is pretty much it. If you like the video so far, hit the like button and let me know in the comments if there's anything I skipped or anything you want me to dive into and I'll be happy to uh, you know cover more stuff. Now, I did promise that I'm gonna show you more Amphosound instruments. So I already have them loaded here. So we have the Dongxiu flute. This is how it sounds. And we also have a lot of articulations. So this is really great. And I'm covering that in my channel. So if you want to learn each and every one of these articulations, go ahead. I'm going to put the links in the description of this video. For example, you have these uh, pentatonic thrills. Right, and I also have the guitar super jumbo here. This is a great acoustic guitar. And also here we have this, uh, uh, we, we have the, the reefer and this is really great, but we also have strummer. So if you want to learn more about this one, this is really powerful stuff. So if you want to learn about this one, go and check the uh, review that I have. I'm just gonna show you something. Let's turn it on. And you can actually program these riffs yourselves and, and you can save them or you can load. There's a lot of riffs already uh, ready for you. So this is really great. And we also have the Ampo Sound Guitar Luthier, which is a classic guitar. And again, I have this in my channel, so check it out. And let's go and listen to something that we have here. This is the reefer. Right, and again, we have the strummer, we have the reefer, we have a great virtual instrument that sounds really amazing. So this is the Amphosound Guitar Luthier. And that's it. We have Amphosound Bass Upright. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next video.